Hi, it's Hazy, and welcome to my channel. Today we are making the, this beautiful little envelope folio. Now, it's not necessarily made with full envelopes. You can make it with parts of envelopes. I'll show you why I made mine with parts of envelopes, because it was easier <laughs> with what happened to my envelopes, you'll see. Okay, so hopefully I'm going to do a voiceover and uh, show you how to do this. And also, let's have a look at what we've got today. Right, so I've been working with Rockwell Design Crafts today, and here are some of the papers. Right, this is Eclectic Journal Cluster Elements. Yeah, you looked all the. So my, and my printer actually did not work very well on some of them, but I think these were fine by the looks of it. These must be ones I printed uh, the other day, but these are the these are the things you get in the kit. All the, these, um, obviously, I printed that twice. And all the words, which I do use, I use a couple of the things out of this as well. Oh, and look at these. Cluster elements, yay. Beautiful, look how bright they are. And beautiful. All things bright and beautiful. <laughs> there we go. And the different sizes, which is great. And then I've got these, and then this might be, it's a different size. Oh yeah, there you go. And I do use different sizes as well. There we go, I use him in there as well. Little owl, and I use him. Not sure if it's that size, it might be. And some of the mushrooms or toadstools as they are. Ooh, a little little um well, like children, you've got to go to bed now and look at the faces. <laughs> yeah, that's me telling them we've got to go to bed. No, 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 we haven't. <laughs> what us? Go to bed. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of kids, yeah. Right, uh, so there's that. That's one set. Now the other set I use is this. Okay, and these printed fine, but the I've got oh, there is a slightly whiter one that I've used uh, of this. This is collage, collage floral fodder in neutrals. And that's that, and I've used that for the cover. If you've looked, oh yeah, the white you can see it's whiter. So that's the cover. I've used that on the cover, and I've used it inside as well. You'll see. And um, what else can I? Oh yeah, and I've used the. No, that's not the one. That's the one. Actually, I've got the white one here, believe it or not. That's the lighter one. That's brilliant for backing or using in your for um, journaling cards and things like that. That's what I've used it for. Ooh, so it's been fun. It's been loads of fun. So, yes, so you can see how beautiful these papers are. And that's the backing one for the Eclectic Journal Cluster Elements one. And so, you get one for that as well. And I have got somewhere. Let's have a look, see if I can find it, I did have it. Oh, and I printed some on brown lot. I thought it looked quite nice on brown. That's actually on brown, so you can print it on white, brown, whatever you like. This is um, bought paper, because you, obviously you could iron, coffee dyed paper and things like that and print on that. But me, no, no chance. Right, is that, that is another one I had a look at. That is collage floral fodder, fodder in red. Rather than neutrals, and that's got some really, really. Oh, in fact, have I got it here? Oh, I got. Oh no, that didn't print very well, did it? No, it's when it didn't print. I won't wait to show you where it didn't print, but it has got. I'll show you the edge of it. See that? There, that, and that, that, and that. That's what you get with that. I can't show you the rest of it because it's really. My printer's broken. <laughs> right, getting a new one. I think I'd be happy if I didn't have a printer, a printer on the way. <laughs> that would be so upset. Right, um, yeah, well that's part of the, the wider one. Anyway, so I hope, hope you'd like to join me today and find out what I do with this project, how to make the little thing, and suggestions, lots of little suggestions. Look at these butterflies here, what's up, how I've done that. Mm, that's in the, um, you remember, that's on there, so let's find it, come on dear. Here it is, right. There's the butterflies that I've used. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fun. Yeah, so it's like greenies and pinkies, and then I've got colouries, bits of colour and things like that. And then obviously it's like vintagey because you've got all the little edgings and things. I have gone round the edge a bit better on there with a pen, brush type pen, so you can see that a bit clearer. 
Uh, have I said the uh, thing yet? Please subscribe to my channel. Yay, thank you. Hope so. You could be in my first, you know, you'd be able to say to yourself, oh, I was in the first, you know, when that lady first started, I was in I was in her first ever subscribers, wasn't I? Ooh, so I think under a, th under a thousand or under two thousand. You know, he says, ooh, I was one of the first ones. Yeah, so you could do that. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? Right, um, and then um, please uh, give me a thumbs up, which is, we'll, we'll be, Brilliant, thank you so much. Thumbs up and um, press the notification bell with your crafty fingers and please share my video. That'd be great. Thank you so much. I've had people share my video before and I thank them so much for that. Oh, who do I want to say hello to? Because I've had lots of, I've had lots of um, messages from Marcy. She's all saying amazing and things like that. Yeah, thank you. And also Cool Deep has said something today. I hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> and um, we're talking about circles, weren't we, today? And um, who else has spoken to me lately? Hmm, there is people, definitely. I know Patricia does. Patricia's always speaking to me and uh, giving some tips, lots and lots of tips on, on the videos and also on the group as well, on the, my Facebook group, Hazy Crazy Arts, if you'd like to come along to that as well. Lots and lots of tips. And, um, okay. So let's go and let's find out how we do this today. Hello, right, so I'm preparing some envelopes. Look, these have got lots of um, tape and things on them. I don't actually use this one, but I'll still prepare it. I think I use about is it three envelopes. I'm just going to check. Oh, I'm going to check. Hold on. It's not actually envelopes. Some of it's actually it's actually envelope paper I'm using. It's crumbled out all the. Oh yeah, it's packaging. What I've been using is a lots of packaging from things I've bought recently. You know, sellers sellers from eBay who send it in. You know, normal envelopes because I thought quite, I had quite a lot of those. Right, so let's face it. One, two. Yeah, I've only used three sort of sets of envelopes. Uh, these are all the Rockwell Design craft items I'm using, not all of them, I'm using there's more than this, these are the ones I've cut out. So I'm intending to collage on this, so the collage is going to be really fast, I think I'll do it eight times as fast, so there we go, cut off bits, yep, there we go, gathering which ones I'm using. I think I use this from the same sort of sets actually on this because this is the um, quite a plain one isn't it the one that looks like it should be used for collage so I'm just using it yeah and I do glue I don't always do the corner thing either I just do that just pull it up because it's thin paper I'm using actually my printer has gone wrong I've probably mentioned it in the beginning uh, so I can't show you every single piece of paper but it was fine when I was doing this Ooh, I'm doing yeah. See, I'm doing. I'm covering it all because it looks nice, and I've got those holes as well. Covering the holes. I don't think it made any difference when I uh, made them into pockets. So I'm using all torn envelopes, things like that, and. Um, Yay. Really, I think these look so nice, don't they, on this? They go so, together so well, all these. Um, even they just, I'm just shoving it down. I'm not even, you know, bothering. But the elements are brilliant. So if, you think, if you're think, if thinking of what you could use, just use this. And um, it's absolutely fantastic. Am I, am I doing it? I can't remember what I'm doing now. Am I actually making the... Oh, I'm not actually... Um, I haven't made the envelope yet. I've just made the... Doing the inside. I've done some of the inside as well. So the bit that you might be able to see. I'm, look at it, I'm looking at it now. And that's the bit. I think that was the middle one. It must be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the middle one. That I'm making now. So I'm using this as the middle. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to... Uh, 
now seal the top so I'm, I've decided that I'm using the edges as, a, as pockets yay so there we go yay it's fun I hope you can hear me okay I don't know what the sounds like on this it's a new phone the, the uh, what do you call it picture should be brilliant apparently it's the best picture but it's the pixel 6 I'm using phone <clears throat> not using a camera I always use my I always use my um, phone to film there we go there yeah, how about that yeah so that's the thing and the sign oh if I put that on there I don't think I do actually no I don't I've got other ideas and I don't do that one actually till the end. I've decided I'm going to use that, but I don't think I do. Oh, have I showed you that other bit yet? I think I decided to use this one. The reason is because I make it a little bit thinner than what it is. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I do use the white ones, the normal envelopes. <laughs> oh yeah, there's there's one. I th I like this one. This is one I've done. Um. Oh no, it isn't. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Yes, it's just I've taken the window. I'm using a window envelope. I've taken that off and I'm just using the flip. I'm flipping up to make a pocket. It's brilliant. I've, I've, but I do forget in one part of the video that I've done that. So um, I'll tell you when we come to that bit. It's hilarious. Okay. Yay. See, this is another element I'm using. I'm using the music papers and bits like that. For this one so it's different it's a different uh, section so there's loads and loads of different i mean it all would intermingle anyway but in fact i do use different ones but look it's brilliant yeah all the bits of um it's clusters out clusters isn't it clusters um eclectic um i've got it written down so i don't get it wrong it's called eclectic Junk journal cluster elements but you can obviously use as as I'm using it. You can use it for collage, and uh, collage is part of the uh, dog <laughs> with his bells. Um, he it is part of um, clusters anyway, isn't it? Sort of um, making a masterboard type thing. You know, making just making a background. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, that, I get a bit stuck on that bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking all this. Yeah, and there you go. I'm, fold, I'm just folding it directly in half. I think the only the... Is it, I was going to do another one not quite in half. Yeah, the middle one's in half. The second one's in half. It's just the front that's very slightly not. But I thought I'd do that for fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying, thinking what to use. Of course, if I'd used all those, it'd been, it would have been hours. No, I don't use that. I'm thinking about it. Mm, let's see how long I thunk. <laughs> thunk. <laughs> Thunking about it. See how long it took me to, took me to think about that. Because obviously this is on four times as fast at the moment. I'm thinking about making a pocket out of that. No. But that's one of the options obviously you can do. I thought if I had made it in the middle I could have done that. I could have, I could have actually... Um, yeah, it's a bit big. And then you could have folded it in. See, I'm thinking again. It takes, it takes me a while. <laughs> right, there we go. And there's the, yes. So I've, I've actually covered the wrong part. Oh, I've, have I sewn it in? Oh, I haven't showed you. I meant to have showed you. I don't know why I didn't show you. I must have, it, I've actually done a five pamphlet stitch. The reason I've done that is because of all the different, because all the things are different. Um, five five whole pamphlet stitch to be precise um i've actually done that because um of all the little extra bits just in case that it sort of was a bit loose if i'd just used the three right it's like these little hearts i make right which bit am i doing now am i right near the end no i can't be Right, what we're doing now? Don't even know. Right. Oh, I'm making um, 
let's have a look what am i making oh yeah the tuck spot yeah this is one of those little pretty tuck spot i'll go and have a look at it while i'm on it right so this is the middle pet for the middle page but guess where i put it i'll try and put it on where the pockets are so watch me i'll have to remove it in a minute yeah, I've planned to put it there because I, I forget the pockets are there. There's me trying to pretty it up. I could be even putting flowers and things on. <laughs> I don't know what makes me realise <clears throat> that that's um, that's not the right place. But anyway, oh look, I think I, yes, I do use those. Not probably not the slightly smaller one. They're really cute, those little owls, aren't they? There we go. I think I've realised. Yes, I have. Look, I've realised now. <laughs> I realised I've put that. I'm, I'm now drawing that on to make sure I know that that's a pocket. Now it's hidden. It could be a hidden pocket, couldn't it? I mean, it could be. Um, hang on, I'll put that on instead. <laughs> Right, so there we go. I've just glued the owl's um, head round the bend because it was actually sticking out. But it's fine. Looks absolutely fine. I'm putting a mushroom on or the cryptoid store fly garret thing, whatever you call it. And um, hmm. So now I'm going to the back. Ah, oh, this is this the cute thing. You'll love this. Yeah, I've been I've made these things before but um Oh it jumped off, do you see that? <laughs> right, yeah, I've made those before, so cute. And um I'm going to make them again. I'm not going to put a, a pocket on the front of this, although you could do an extra pocket I mean. Now I'm gonna make some journaling sticks. Decided to use those three colours. I think no I haven't. I've I'm use a different one. That's not the same as what I use. I like this. I'm using normal scissors for this. Um, straight edge scissors. Oh, I just almost used my deckle edge ones. <laughs> deckle edge I find very, very useful for this. To make it look torn. When it's more controlled. But uh, if it's right there, so I'm using that and that. Oh, I think see what I did. Yeah, it, I'm using these. I wonder what I did, did it for. I'm using these because the other ones were deckle edged. I wanted it straight edged. Um, so I'm making a little panel now. I don't know what's pointed to then. Making a panel, trying to move all the bits out of the way, getting them free. There we go. I'm going to glue those all together. I want them to be about five inches, so I'm using the, the inch measurements to, yeah, there you go, five inches, inch measurements to um, make those. Very useful, those uh, boards are with the inch and centimetre um, measurements. <coughs> so I'm using this. I don't know why, perhaps it's because I wanted it to make sure it's strong. I don't think my glue is running out yet. I'll use this in, at the end where my glue's run out, and I thought, well, I'm not bothering traping the new one. <laughs> my um, stick glue. Right there. It's just taking the edge off there to make sure that's five inches. They look about the same, those three panels. Yeah, there we go, getting it all. Oh, inking it up. Yeah. yeah. It still goes in there. Look, I'm going to glue it now around the edge. A U shape around the edge or a whatever. Three times square, and then I'm going to glue down those, checking where I'm gluing so it's even. So I've now got three. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want these things to fall one way. Now I've, I've got, I didn't wear my bone folder is, so there we go, scissors. <laughs> right. So what I'm going to make now is just checking how big these things need to be. I'd say about an inch, but I think I make them smaller than an inch. I would say about three foot. No, I don't know. Let's have a look. I've got me. Yeah, they're, 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 not, they're over three quarters of an inch. They're probably about a six or well, three quarters or seven eighths of an inch. I would say. 
I've cut three and I need to be, is it three and a half inches? But obviously I'm going to make this gunu, that's that's local. I'm going to make this um, like, like a little tube. These are, I call these journaling sticks. There we go. That fit into little um, compartments. There we go, that's two, and then I'm going to make the other one. And then I'm going to glue them all together. I'm getting them all the right, the same size, that's what I'm doing. That's why I haven't glued one yet. I think, oh, these are, they are about the same size anyway. They turn up to be the same size without me messing about too much. Yeah, see, I'm checking there. And they've got to be something like um, three and a half inches tall for this to work. You'll see what I'm going to do in a minute. It's so cute it is. You probably see, see it if you've seen the flip through yet you would have seen it it's so cute yeah oh yeah I've cut them cut them off camera and now I am um, rounding them with this which is really good for rounding I've only I've heard one person say that they, they didn't like that machine there we go. I'm gluing all these um, ends because they are open Uh, there we go, opening a little mouth, look and putting the glue in. <laughs> there we go. Now you've got your glue, you've got to be glue shut, no talking. No more talking for you. <laughs> there we go. Um, <clears throat> they're inking them all up so they look, so they look very nice. Just giving it a bit of a... I do it with, always do it with black. Right, now I've cut the butterflies. Now a lot of these obviously you can't do it exactly the same even though they're all the same size well I can't <laughs> I think you'd be a bit careful you can <laughs> right but me I've got the patience so I just I'm going to ink them up and I do actually cut a bit off because there is a lot um, on one of them a lot of white on one of them I'm trying to get all the little bits of white away with my um, dauber there there we go look how cute these look Yay! <clears throat> pretty, very, very pretty uh, butterflies these are. I don't know if, they're like, if they are a butterfly or there's something that's been made up, but they're so cute. Very pretty. Perfect for this uh, project. I thought I'm definitely going to be, I'm definitely 100% going to use these. The only thing I didn't use was of that was those uh, blue flat blue flowers with the white middle. I love those, but I haven't. I'm going to find a use for those definitely in another project because I love those. See, sometimes, as I said in my last video, the um, you know those washi stickers. Sometimes you can see through them too much, and you can't really see them on a certain paper unless it's something like newsprint. But these, obviously, when you've got something like these to stick on, the um, flowers that the, in this in this kit, look at me trying to get that in there. The flowers in this kit are a bit more substantial, uh, so you can see them easily. And I've also used brown paper as well uh, for some of the uh, flowers. Obviously, I've used white on those, but some of them I've used brown paper to print on. And that brown paper, uh, not brown paper as such but brown paper that's you can print on it comes up about american sizes actually in this country i think it's um what what, what i've bought comes up with american sizes so uh, yeah i tried it in that other pocket as well because i thought it did look really cute in the other pocket but uh, i made them for that <laughs> and i said i don't make another i didn't put another pocket on the front it would have taken me Ages, but you can of course it'd be absolutely fine just at this occasion i didn't in fact i've done a bit of decorating that's the pocket i'm putting that on the other pocket or the side pocket to the folded up envelope where i've got that fold where well, i took the uh, window off and uh, let's have a look at it see here not sure if that's a robin or a, i think it is some sort 
American, is it an American robin? I'm not sure. <laughs> Looks a bit like um, a one. Yeah. Right. So I've got now, and we're doing on the back of this. Oh, 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 yes. Right, I may. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, I'm not, do, I'm not doing it yet. But there is something I'm going to do in a minute or soon. Oh, I've made some tags out of those, you know, those um, strips of paper, really pretty. Oh, this is what I've done. Yeah, that's what I did on video the other day, and I've used that on video. I made it out of an envelope, and it's so pretty. Uh, it's the envelope one, crafty something envelopes. I've used, um, I didn't even realise I'd done that actually. <laughs> used the design in there till I saw this. Right, so and now I'm going to make, I've used an actual um, index cards. So I thought that's the perfect size. We just have to cut off a little bit at the end. That's it for the perfect height. And I'm also making something else out of an index card that I have got on video. Uh, it's called something other with two secret pockets index cards I, I, I try and link all the videos below and then we'll find out where we uh, are with that see that's so pretty on the back of there and I'm just making normal is it normal German cards I'm making for that yeah I'm making normal German cards and then I'm going to um, Put some really 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 nice uh, design on the edge of it just for the uh, cutting that one inch off okay now I'm deciding what to do at the end I'm going to do, do a little design at the end I've got these and now that is upside down that piece of paper there if you got on a big screen you'll be able to see it that piece that um, with the pink at the top I've got um, book page and I've sewed that on there and I did this on a video this another video yeah and I used that and I thought it was so pretty that paper that it's actually from the um, other one collage for fodder in red it's just a piece of paper from that by Jackie Rockwell okay so Rockwell design craft and there's another one that's the other one i'm doing not the same thing using using elements from um this is from the neutrals i think and and the electric junk journal cluster elements that's set as well with the heart yeah i made a little uh, little book that's that is on video um but i've used jackie's um beautiful papers to do it with as, oh yeah, so there we go. You see, it's pretty, isn't it? So when you open that, you'll see how. See, I'm dying to use that. That's one of use. <laughs> I want to use that. I don't use it, but I, that's one I use. I wanted to use. Right, see what I do use. Oh, which one am I doing? Oh, it's the other side. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I use that as well. Yeah. So I'm trying to use it. I don't use that actually. Uh, and I'll start piling them up because I don't know what to use. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> right um yeah i know i'm not going to use that right, i know what i'm going to use in a minute because these look so nice right so i've got those two as well made from a uh, stitched um that orange version of the little um uh, of well rectangle bits pretty bits in the in the cluster elements Right, what am I doing now? I don't use the flower, I know that. There we go, this is what I use. But I don't do it quite like this. Oh, nearly, nearly. Come on, there's a bit more to it. I don't use the heart. I use this, but in a different position. There we go. Oh, I put, oh no, I didn't put the heart in. I put the heart out, that's it. There we go. And then I put a circle as well. Circle of, yeah, they're really use, useful as well. Um, uh, um, those little circles that I'm going to use in a minute. It looks a bit like a sun. Uh, uh, I don't know if I, I put it on in this, but it is on the um, end bit. Like one of those little suns with this faux stitching around it. 
you can't see it yet I do put that in the corner I don't know if I do it in here there you go there's the inspire it says yes I can see the, I can see the words when I've got my book in front of me but on this little tiny screen which is about one two and a half by one and a half or something <laughs> I can't see it right oh yeah these are these hearts are so gorgeous and I'm sort of like it's I, I made it up <laughs> am I going to show you how to make the hearts up oh no oh no I'm doing the um the owl one now aren't I although you don't know it's an owl yet what shall I do with this I'm thinking I'm thinking what shall I do there we go there's the owl now I've put him on it didn't take me long to decide to do this because I'm thought I'm not going to sit here ages messing about and look it looks perfect and we'll put the owl there that sort of representation of even though it's a heart it reminds me of sort of the moon or the sun or something well the moon really <laughs> with owls um, there we go there we are and I've, I ink that up so it looks greenish rather than yellow it's a smile right so what am I doing now making some cards Oh yeah, I do this. Yeah, I make some cards to go. Is it ready to go inside? No. I don't know. I don't know what I'm making the cards for. There we go. Hey, I've rounded the corners. Yay. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I've got one for the front and one for the back that's right and I haven't closed that up yet I decided to keep the tops open of these and I'm going to I'm indicating I'm going to make some uh, holes some um, um, what do you call those things notches right this, I'm going to do the cover now yay it's almost time for the cover yay so I've decided to use the I use the whiter one of the two now you can see there I couldn't print to the edge this is when I was I, it wouldn't print to the edge anymore I just kept banging and getting stuck and all sorts so that is the printer not me <laughs> I kept banging on the table <laughs> right now it was the print yeah the printer kept getting stuck and um, I couldn't do it anymore I'm taking the white edges off because it annoy they annoy me so much is why I like to print to the edge. I'm getting a new printer, exactly the same one I have because I couldn't afford a, a to upgrade yet. <laughs> and I'm not I'm, I don't think they'd mend it. I probably after after you may as well buy a new one. I haven't got it insured. So and I'm going to save up for a, an upgrade I think. Right. So yeah this is the cover. It's so pretty. I'm really pleased. I'm really, really, really pleased with what, how I did this. And if you remember, I did it wrong. I've actually put, um, turned the thing upside down or something, or inside out. Now I'm sealing up the end because I don't need to have that open. Glad you can see it okay because I wasn't. I was never sure. <laughs> I thought I'm sure they can see it okay, but luckily you can ma mainly. I'm just covering that up and um, so you can actually see that from the inside you can't see the outside anymore but you can see the inside okay I can't remember oh I'm not sure what number to stop at over there right, I'll have to um, what's that 10 minutes so about six minutes left to talk okay Right, so now I'm putting this on, I'm making sure, just having a look. I want it long enough so you can tie a bow. And I'm, I'm putting it through the, I don't, can't believe I actually cut that out. Well, didn't, didn't I not record it? I don't know, the, the, uh, doing the five, pan, five hole pamphlet stitch. Right, I'm going to make a line here so that I glue on, on the right bit. No, me, I probably glue the wrong bit. Stretching it out across that um, 
and I'm just making sure they're the same length. I'm stretching it out across there so it's flat. That is very, that stuff, um, very good for you. Obviously you can use things like Fabri-Tac, but Fabri-Tac doesn't seem to work for me. I'm going to try it again, <laughs> but it doesn't seem to work for me. <laughs> I'm definitely going to try it again. Uh, yeah, I'm making sure it's glued right to the end there. Now I'm going to put the panel on. I'm dying to do that. This is the bit I've been dying to do. <laughs> I think I'll oh, do around the corners, yeah. There we go. So I've got, my hand's gone numb. Right, so, yeah, so I'm just getting that the right length. I'm cutting it off with, what did I do that for? I don't, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I used those scissors. Oh, I know, to do the back, because I'm not going to glue onto the back. That's right, so now it looks like it's got sort of a tawnish type edge. No, it's not, uh, so... That's it, so I'm doing that as well. Yeah, so on that back, I have not glued on the um, stitching. Yeah, it's straightforward to do the five pamphlet stitches. I've got videos on it. I've even done the 13 pamphlet stitch, if you want to have a look at that one. <laughs> that was fun. Well, it took me ages, though, because I'd used really, really thick paper. And 20 sheets of really, really thick paper. <laughs> so. It was good though. Oh dear, don't you hear my stomach? I hope you can't hear my stomach. <laughs> if you could hear a little whiny noise there. That was my stomach. I do apologise. <laughs> I'm not like I had breakfast. I think that's what it is. Right. Um. Yeah, so I'm cutting out some hearts. I don't actually I only use one of these. Yeah, I'm cutting out three because I think I'm going to use three. I actually only use the one. It looks because I cover that I cover that pattern up. So oh, I don't want to cover the pattern up. I'm trying to ink it up to make it look more. But I, in fact, I do end put end up putting pen round it to make it look really really strong. The black. Obviously, you can use what colour you like or. Watercolours would do it as well, actually, or watercolour pencils, anything like that. I just use a, a, a brush, um, mark, a brush marker pen, a brush pen. I've got some fine liners, and they've in that set. There's a brush pen. <laughs> okay, that sort of thing. Right there we go. Yeah, so I'm just gluing the um, hearts onto the book page paper. There we go. In other words, the French. Yeah, am I doing it now? Oh no, this is just with a crayon. I actually do it with a crayon, but then I do actually do it with a uh, an actual brush pen later. Probably off camera. There we go. Hiring that up a little bit more. So get the hearts in there. Uh, I thought that does not look right. Don't use that one anyway. I use another one. Oh, the glue falling into the picture. Right, too small. I decide that's too small, and I get another one. There we go. Time to unwind. That's it, and that's the one I do. Obviously, you could probably make that into a pocket or something, but I'm not doing that. I'm just decorating. Uh, yes, I put that on the heart on top of that. Yes. There we go. <coughs> Perfect. There we go. Or as it is, imperfect, <laughs> but beautiful. Yay, I've done it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Right then, time to unwind. Let's do a flip through, and this is a not the voiceover thing at the moment. Hoo -hoo. So I did the voiceover, so let's see how we did. So I'm doing the bow, the pretty bow. Now this is what I would suggest. I don't know, I didn't um, put anything on there, but I think it'd be okay actually. It seems very strong. 
just in case that did lift up you have to be very careful to make sure you glue it correctly very good anyway i do hate that front very pretty right so we've got a journaling card inside i've not done anything on there apart from made that make a journal on there obviously right come on dear get out i'm trying to get you there we go so that one goes in there journaling spot on the back or whatever you like stick things in there you know that sort of thing right and then this one obviously we've got the little booklet that I made I made these on video but I think I made them bigger than this actually did I make these on video I'm not sure it's it's either this or it's a cot this is a combination but there is a little took thing there and there as well that I haven't yet put anything in. <laughs> Just realised I haven't put anything in there. But there will be things to go in there. There'll be plenty of things I can think of. Put a little card in there or you can uh, put a big card in the other bit. <laughs> little card in that foldy bit and then a big card in the other bit. Right, there we go. Oh, look at these little things. Look, and I had to use this. I made these first, actually, I think, <laughs> before I did anything else. Okay, so pocket. I thought that was quite a nice little... Didn't need anything else on there. Ooh, I like this one. Right, I was thinking you didn't need to make everything into a pocket and things like that, and or took spot, but so I made this. I thought that was quite cute. And then we've got the journaling card in there with the word dream on it. I thought, oh, those are, the words are upside down. I like the way it leads up to the pink there, like a where you're going to dream. It all reminds me of sort of a a bed. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, there we go. Oh, and then obviously the back's got that on. Same as the cover. Right. And then you've got your little tuck spot. You've got a little journal. It's surprise journaling space there. And a couple of these tucked in. I thought that was quite cute thing you can do what you like with those stick them down or leave them in there or take them out and use something else and then we've got our little cute oh was she, was she surprised I don't know <laughs> how the way they I did those I've done them in, in loads of in loads of projects not the, not with these but with the um with with punches and things but I thought, ooh, I could use, I know what I could do with those, journaling sticks. So I call these journaling sticks. I don't know if anybody else does. <laughs> journaling sticks, yay. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and then there's this. We've got another journaling card here. I don't know if I did, did I do that one on the video. I can't remember now. But anyway, there we go. How about that? Who else? And then we've got the... Actually, I don't know how the sound is on this, so hopefully it's okay. Laugh. You can have a laugh, can't you now? <laughs> and that one says smile. Smile there. So when you go inside, you got you know can have a laugh. Excuse me, dog. What are you doing? <laughs> Shaking his um, little bells. Oh, the cute little birdie. I think... I don't know if this is... What sort of bird that is it's like a robin is it an american robin i'm not sure <laughs> it looks a little bit like a robin but i don't know what that is right and um, or some sort of looks like something out of a christmas off a christmas card so i assume it might be right so there's those there another two little journaling places come on get look excuse me but there is room you know so you can't pretend there isn't trying to make out right oh yeah and of course i did this on video um the other day out of an envelope i thought well it's out of an envelope so i may as well use it on this video as well so which way around are we i'm not sure actually i think it's that way it doesn't really matter because i haven't was written anything on it but there's the journaling spot for your journaling envelope yay and then i've just pinned it onto there rather than put anything on there and obviously on the last page you've got this 
and you can that's a journal in space there and on the last page we have honest we do we do honest but we have we've got it is in here uh, uh, oh, I can't really see it from this side so what am I doing Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Ah, it's well worth what, waiting for, wasn't it? There we go. Little owls and a little moon representation there. And wood sort of thing. And journal. Yay. This one, this pocket's slightly bigger than the other one. So I made this slightly bigger than the, than the front one. And there we go. And I haven't got anything on the back. It's just pretty. There we go. With the um, now, I've got to get this. This is college floral fodder in neutrals. That one I did. Did I use college floral fodder in red? I don't think I did. I was going to, but my printer did not do it. It would not do anything for me. It was. It has broken. So I've sent for a new one. <laughs> right. Um, Eclectic journal cluster, cluster elements, all these, including this, including the, um, so it's really, really, really nice. And all these as well included, so you can make clusters and, on your pockets and things like that. Well, that's vague. That's a cluster, isn't it? You've got collage and you've got a cluster. <laughs> oh, no, there was, no, put a cluster, and that's like a cluster, isn't it? You don't have to do any clusters, you can just... Use it for what you like, but I thought this was a quite a good idea. Have a little make clusters out of these. I hope you like those little heart ideas. I think they're rather cute, aren't they? Simple. And um, there we go. They look really bright and cheerful on there. And the little owl saying hello. It's night time. But smile. <laughs> Right, and little robins going, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I think I might have mentioned um, that when I was fussy cutting out, I put little dots there to represent any sort of, in case it like, like a book page sort of uh, suggestion behind it, rather than having to cut them out. So I thought that was quite good. Quite a good little suggestion there anyway oh we've looked through it once what we're doing i do <laughs> i do hope you liked my um idea today um with jackie rockwell's um etsy shop rockwell design crafts that's what i was working with today hey there we go. Yes, I hope you liked um, Rockwell Design Crafts along with my work. I think it's worked very well. I really, really enjoyed doing it. Um, such fun. So we've got the neutrals. Foliage floral, floral fodder in neutrals. And that's the Eclectic Junk Journal cluster elements all these except for the book page but i thought that was quite a good little touch to add to it hmm there we go so please subscribe to my channel please give me a thumbs up please share my video press the notification bell with your crafty fingers and please join my facebook group easy crazy arts and don't forget to have a look at rockwell design crafts and all the lovely elements in this beautiful little folio i never made a folio before uh, a big one like this anyway <laughs> and it's only three envelopes i think okay then so i'll go now and goodbye